Hello everyone, welcome to my Diary of a Junior Doctor episode 3. So this week I am being poorly, crying about being a rubbish doctor, crying about being a rubbish parent and doing two night shifts. I've done one night shift, I'm about to do the second one now. So uh, let's get on it and I hope it goes well. <laughs> I can't believe I'm vlogging looking like this but uh, when I started doing these diaries I wanted to make sure that it was like warts and all being honest not just showing you like a um, non-true version of, of what life as a doctor is like so here I am um, I am supposed to be working Monday Tuesday Wednesday today um, this week even uh, last night my baby got got really sick so I messaged in just saying I'm not gonna be able to uh, I'm not gonna be able to be in um and i feel really really guilty for that because you feel like you're letting people down and also as the part-time one i kind of you know i want to be taken seriously and i feel like I, you know if i'm off or especially if i'm off with baby that won't be since then maybe it's because i've been up all night with baby but i feel really rough and uh, i've just always been sick um so well i haven't been sick but i feel really really nauseous so yeah, not feeling great. I don't know when I'm going to get back to work. My sister's getting married later on in the week. Um, but ultimately, I don't want to miss three days worth of work. And I feel really guilty and mad about that. I don't know if you feel the same when, when you miss shifts or... Yeah, let me know. Is it just me? Still not very well. Feeling totally sorry for myself. Um, it's feeling today like... I don't know, like the balance of it all. It's just so much... Like, maybe it's because I'm poorly and I'm just feeling so sorry for myself. But I, I just kind of feel like I'm not doing the best job as a mum and I'm not doing the best job as a doctor. And, um, like, today is a really difficult day for me because I can't do anything because I'm, I'm poorly now. So I can't study. I can't be with or look after my children. I can't be at work. So I'm just sort of lying here. And that causes me quite a lot of angst because... I, I always have to be doing one of those three things because I'm so busy and now I'm just like not able to do anything so um yeah I just feel like it's time wait like I don't have the time to waste if you know what I mean <laughs> still having these really difficult feelings around um just being rubbish at everything like being rubbish at like being a doctor and not being taken seriously because I'm part-time um and also just being a rubbish mum because you know I'm not here and like right now I'm I'm studying and or I'm at work and yeah I don't know just being really rubbish <laughs> so I've got MRCS coming up in a few days and I'm quite stressed about it to be honest I don't think I'm going to pass and honestly, I think one of the most stressful things about being a doctor is just having to manage all the stuff. Like, it's not just get the job and go to work. And, you know, when I was doing my CST application just before I applied, I felt really great because, you know, I'd obviously built the application. But now, you know, I'm looking at ST3 sort of reg jobs and I've got nothing. I'm back at the drawing board and it just feels like on top of working as a doctor and trying to be a person and have a family, I've just got to do all this research and pass exams and put courses. And it's just, it's a lot... And, you know, if MRCS, you know, if I, if I don't pass it, then I've got to spend another 600 quid and it's just really stressful. So, you know, like I've been trying to use my coping mechanisms, which if you watch my videos, you know, for me, it's like being outside green spaces, trying not to stress too much, stay present at the moment. And that is helping. Um, but some real highs and lows this week. Obviously, my sister's about to get married. So you'll see that later on in the video. And then later on, I've got these two night shifts did manage to get a little um, afternoon tea at Carlick Hall. This was one of Ashley's treats, um, just to kind of cheer me up um, pre-MRCS. So I had a really nice time, went to the family um, and had a lovely meal. Generally feeling uh, good about myself at the moment, which is why I've included this clip because I've often had a lot of problems, you know, trying to accept myself the way that I am, especially the way that I look because psoriasis and things like that, so content in the video, but yeah, feeling good about myself right now. 
from now on, all my vlogs are being done from this chair. So here I am showing up for my sister's wedding. I actually have got the time off. I managed to book off two days for this, which is as difficult as you think it would be. Even for a close family member's wedding, it was really stressful and I wasn't allowed to have it off before the rotor came out, which was about six weeks before. I was never kind of given a, a blank, like, yes, that's fine, you've given us advance notice. But I did make it, I've got my annual leave, here I am. And um, my sister had a, a lovely day, how wonderful she looks, she looks amazing, like an actual princess. Um, so we had a really lovely day and I was there. Here I am, about to do my bridesmaid duties. And then another walk in green space pre-night shift because we're about to hit my night shifts now so I needed a bit of beauty, um, a bit of peace and quiet because you never know what's going to hit on your night shift, you just never know. As night shifts go it's going to go pretty well but I don't know that at this point so I'm just taking in all this green. Me getting up for the night shift, um, it's in the morning, I am not good at sleeping pre-night so here I am, this is like uh, half six, seven-ish, I'm about to go to my night shift and I have been awake all day so I'm already tired, it isn't good but what can you do? I do try and nap, I do try but I just, I can't sleep in the day, it's terrible. This is my coffee, I need to tell you about this, who drinks this? This is obviously how desperate I am at like 3am that I drank that. Um, so here I am on shift, I'm looking tired, I'm, I'm based in SAU, I'll tell you a little bit about that in, in a moment. But basically seeing lots of different patients, pancreatitis, appendicitis, bowel obstruction. I'm really trying to focus on the management plan stuff now um, because I'm trying to train to be a reg effectively, aren't I? So um, I'm really invested in trying to understand what the next step is. Um, here I am, I've almost survived it, look, this is the end. I literally feel like I just left work and I did a huge shift and then I came home, had a nap and now I'm going back to work and I, I, th I think that, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Here at the hospital for um, night shift number two, this is my last one. Um, so I've been working on the surgical assessment unit. So basically I'm the SHO there. And what I'm doing is I'm receiving and clocking all of the patients for the hospital who come through A&E or the wards that might have some sort of surgical pathology. So I'm looking after gen surge patients and urology patients. So I've got a little phone and it is very common for junior doctors to receive incoming calls from places that are like um, urgent treatment centres, out of hours, GPs, all of those kind of people will refer patients to you. It can be a really daunting task to hold that phone as a junior doctor because someone will ring you up about, you know, someone's in acute urinary retention or, you know, has like, you know, whatever and you're like, ah, you know, it can be really, really stressful. So it's just a case of trying to learn what you can and contact the reg if you don't know. Um, my shift last night was really good. Um, I had a good shift last night, so I'm hoping that this shift goes well too. And I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to tomorrow morning when I will pick you back up. Um, and then I'm going to have a, a cuddle on the sofa with Ash and a takeaway. And that will be the end of this vlog by then. So I'm, I'm looking forward to filming that tomorrow. So I'm just really clocking on this job. Um, I'm not doing any ward cover. I'm barely doing any bloods because we've got a HCA. So I'm not doing any of the ward stuff. So it's mostly just clocking, which I'm enjoying. In terms of a, uh, the acute emergency stuff, most of our patients have been quite well. They've all been stable, which has been great. Um, we did have the emergency buzzer go off once on this shift, but someone had just pulled it by accident. So I had that thought of like, oh my God, what do I do? Have I missed something? Is someone really poorly? but it, it went off as soon as it came on, so that was great. So tonight, you know, I'm seeing again neurology, vascular, and gen surge patients, so acute retention for urology, query, testicular torsion. For gen surge, it's like, you know, we've got rib fractures, query bowel obstruction, query incarcerated hernia. Oh, look, my coffee's better tonight than it was the night before, and then, you know, vascular, you know, uh, you know acute limb stuff. Um, so I'm trying to show you here the hospital at night, because I'm desperately waiting for daybreak at this point. Um, you just get so tired, it's just so difficult to function, but I know that I'm almost there, it's like 5am. Almost through these first set of shifts as a core surgical trainee, can you believe it? I worked really hard to get here, and here I am, I've survived. So this is the end of the vlog, please leave me any questions, I love to get your questions. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.